film. That's good. Good? That's what I'm talking about. What is crack like guys? Welcome back to another episode of Martial Outdoors. Today we are on the lake once again. Just kidding. I'm on uh, my property right now. Well, the lake's not my property, but I got some property out here that I deer hunt. But uh, now I can drive my truck out here because there's an awesome kid that I met that lives on the lake. Um, he's actually a subscriber, I think, and he's pretty cool and he catches a lot of fish. And he uh, has a landing at his house, so he's like, hey man, you can drive your truck out there. And I'm like, drive my truck out there. Well, let's uh, get the truck out there and get some fishing done. So I was actually here the other day chasing some panfish and some pike. And we got two really nice pike, like, I don't know, they were eight pounders seven eight pounders a couple thick ones and uh i decided today today we are gonna come back and get us some big pike i came with big minnows and big rods only two high fish pros and we're just gonna sit in the truck and hope for a big pike today you know i mean we bring some big minnows some big minnows i'm talking look at the size Look at the size of that sucker. So uh, we're gonna drill two holes, put two iFish Pros out, one big caster hot rod, and then one big uh, tuned up custom rod. Get these minnows dangling. And like I said, for these big fish, I'm gonna try and uh, stay off the ice. Uh, I think that's what hurts us a lot of times when we're out here bluegill fishing, you know, we're moving around, drilling holes, and all that fun stuff. But today, it's quiet. We're looking for a giant today, so let's get these two high fish pros set up and get you guys a monster pike. Yes, they can. If I'm going for big pike, you know me. These are awesome rigs right here. Quick strike rigs. I know a lot of people have seen them. So I'm having. There you go. Two big travel hooks. Wire in between them. Got that going down to 65 pound braid. And uh, it's time to uh, get us a big minner here. We're gonna start kind of small. Kind of on the small end of this, but uh, there you have it. I mean, there you have it. A beautiful looking Northern Pike snack. Easy, easy. Just, oh. I'm gonna set her, I'm gonna set her as tight as it goes when I'm fishing for a big pike. All the way to the back, even with those big decoy minnows, setting it all the way to the back like that, I have no issues of uh, false flags ever. And uh, I run some pretty big minnows, so that's a plus. A lot of tip ups if you're trying to uh, run big minnows, you gotta like kind of rig them up so where it's tight. Not these, they are uh, three settings on them. Let me tell you, when you put it on that tight one, she ain't coming off unless you got a fish. Let's go set the next one. All right, now that's a hog. That's a hog if I've ever seen one. Put that sucker in there. This is on the bait caster right here. All right. We are set. Pants are slimed up like I caught 10 fish or something. Haven't caught anything. Just slimed, lots of slime. All right, we might come switch this one out eventually. Put a new quick strike rig on it one of the hooks is broken but for now we'll leave it if i miss a fish on it then i'm gonna put a new one on it two rods up not much else to do man so i guess we'll hang out here for like an hour maybe even less if nothing pops we'll probably try a couple spots just move around the lake sorry to find where these northerns are sitting and if not we always got the bluegills and crappies to fall back on there is some big bluegills in here so we might rip some lips on those today if it gets slow but for now we're waiting for pikes, man. Been sitting here for 15 minutes. I'm about as bored as it gets. What do you do when you're just watching two tip-ups? This is just, uh, it's boring. It's really boring. But uh, I called Murray, see what he's doing, and it sounds like him and Brock, him and B-Rock are gonna come out. Maybe they're gonna throw some tip-ups out too. So we might get some action. I'm pretty much just in it for the long haul, hoping on a couple big, so. I'm bored. I'm really bored. Guess we'll sit here and wait. I feel like we need to move already. Might move one. Push it across or something. I don't know. We'll see. 
help. All right, boys finally made it. Murray's here, Brock's here, he's back there. We're just getting their line set up. Brock's still setting one of his, and uh, I had one of mine pop. Finally, it's about time. Been here for about an hour. Right. Let's go get this tip up. Doesn't look like it's doing much, but it's big metal, so hope for a big fish. Set it and send it, boys. I'll come grab your tip up after you send it. All right. Check, check. Oh, glad I checked that. What is? Ain't bearing no troubles with that buttery thing. Oh yeah, tighten her down. We'll just pull back on him, see if he's still there. He might have turned around on me here. It's him. Big? Big. Yep. It's big. Big? Yep. It's not like huge, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I'd imagine. It's already here. Good. That's good. Good? No, it's decent. Sweet. I buried it too. Really? Oh, I buried it. You just gonna grab him? Yeah, I'll grab him. Okay. I got my big camera and stuff, so. Oh no, he's hooked on the ice. Really? That's he's big, dude. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Hey, 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 hey. Big That's a big one. Big Hey! <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. First fish of the Thick. Thick, dude. Look Let's at this. Go. Yes. Look at this, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this bait. It's like a 12 inch sucker. Just gone, dude. All right. I'm gonna have to do some stuff here. Sucker, I think. All right. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna. Dunk this big girl back. It's not too cold out here, but that's sick. Whew. Awesome fish, dude. Okay, fish. Right there. Yeah. Dunk it. Let's get some big. Oh. oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guess we're not doing picks. Yeah, no picks. <laughs> dude, this thing's just Gucci, too. Really? So awesome. Yeah, watch this. Oh yeah, ready to go. What's that called? Recycling. Yeah. Oh dude. Yes. Stay tuned and stay glued. Yeah. We've got a tip up and it's the biggest minnow we've got. Quite possibly one of the biggest minnows we've ever used. Dang it. What? No shades. Me neither. Ah, my rods. Alright, it's tipped over, dude. It's alright. Let's go get this one. I'll figure that one out. Yeah. Oh, it's not looking good. Either is my guy. It's looking good. Is it? Are you serious? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Should I just send it? I don't know. Are you sure it's not that middle? That thing's huge. Ready? Ready? Mm -hmm. Got it? I don't think it's very big. It's not very big on that? It's not small though. But yeah, it's pretty big. Stuck. Yes. All right, take this. Someone, he's wrapped. So it's got it. Wrapped? Yeah, it's in his gills. It wrapped through. He's not gonna back up. Yeah, he's not gonna back up far enough either. So, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, fatty. <laughs> He's chunky. Dude, what is yeah. that thing? That's weird. Full of bluegill. That's not too impressive. <laughs> no, we're out here for bigger. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. No. Bye, Felicia. Stay tuned. I need to go fish, fix my rod, it's, it's, get back it's, it's, after it. All right, this is apparently how we we bait our tip ups now. We're just, We're not walking. just drive. <laughs> Mary won't walk, so I mean, I ran a 5k last time. I mean, there you go. Let's rebait it, get it set, get another big fish. And my one tip up, if she's up, we're gonna go get her and see what's happening. Same one I caught uh, the last pike on, so hopefully it's another 
Decent sized one, looking for something a little bigger, but we'll take whatever at this point. It has gotten slow. The clouds moved in, I was hoping that was gonna fire them up. Did not. So, we pulled some tip ups, now we're kinda just hanging out the truck jigging, but. This guy is ripping. Ripping in a turn. Not looking bad. It's really not. It's looking pretty decent. Lines to the side. Let's just, oh yeah, I'm glad I did that again. Tighten her up. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. What? Yeah. Way to shoot for the stars, man. <laughs> I was looking for righteous and kick ass, all right? 18. 18 pounder, all right. 36 inch girth. Sturgeon. Catfish. Oh. oh. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Is that him? Oh, yeah. Come on, pull me tight, sucker. Oh. oh, this is a hog. It seems decent. Good one, huh? Yeah, it seems decent. Good in? Um, no. Seven, eight pounds. Good <laughs> dog. Yeah, we're already here, so. I mean, he's not like tiny, but. It's fucking weird. It's not bad. It's not bad. Take it. Got my middle bag for the third time in a row. Not bad. Not bad, not good, but uh, once again. Another pike, we'll take them. It's been pretty slow out here, but I'll take this guy. Gonna get him back quick. Yeah, not too oh, bad. We'll get him back though. These are not snakes at all, so that's cool. No. At least they're all they're little fatty. Fish. <clears throat> back to the gills. Back to the gills. <laughs> <laughs> Can this thing go round three is what I'm wondering. Oh yeah. Just the nice soft Look at kick. Him. Yeah, just, oh. <laughs> round three, baby. My tip-ups are always popping. Baby, you're always popping. My eye fish pros love you me. You want to catch fish, just watch Nick Marshall do it. Oh, it's just tearing too. Oh my God. This is the when, the so? when we came here 20 for. 20 pounder, calling it, 20 pounder. This is it. 16. I'd really. <laughs> this has got a big minnow on? Oh yeah. It's all I bring, dude. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Huh? What flag is this, like flag seven? Flag four, six. Six or seven, maybe. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, dude, look at this. Send him. Bling, bro. I need to check my drag, though. No, I just go. <laughs> yeah, I'll thumb it. Yeah, yeah, just thumb him. Oh. And there you went. <laughs> there you already messed it up. Look at this success. Oh, yeah. Be lit. Pull it tight, baby. Oh! <laughs> 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 Those hot Ooh. rods, dude. Yo. Is this actually big? No. I think it's just this rod. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not. Seriously? I don't think so. That's a big rod and it's pretty bent. <laughs> it took a lot of line. I, see sure. the... I think it's big. I don't think it is. No, it's big. Oh, oh my god, it's a giant. I was right. Oh, and it jumped down. Dude, you, you boys, these aren't tiny pike though. No. Like that's like a six, five, six pounder. Six pounder. It's not bad. Definitely sent the hooks home on that one. <laughs> well, uh, got the middle back too. I'm just a middle collector. I keep them all day. Look at that. Just ready to go around two already. Oh man. Seven. He's like, swim me away, bud. Gosh, do I love setting rods into big pike. Just wish they were a little bit bigger. Here we go. Another one. Down the hole he goes. Go. Sick. Not a bad one. On that pike grind. There you have it. Back to the truck. On the waiting game. That's what this tip up fishing is all about. It's just wait, especially when you're fishing with big minnows, because you're going to definitely stay away from small fish. You ain't chasing flags all day. Pretty much uh, thanks fish or nothing. So, number three for me. Alrighty, we're going to wrap it up. We're just out here picking up tip ups, driving around, getting them wrapped up for the day. Not, uh, not that banger day I was looking for, that's for sure. I keep trying this big pike thing and it just uh, really does not keep working. So we'll be back after it, I'm sure. We got, uh, I think, I think I think I caught like three nice pike today, but uh, boys got a couple too. So we'll be back at it um, for now. 
as always, I don't know where I'll be next. Probably on the ice doing something, catching something. Set knife fish pros look for big fish, so make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We will see you next time. Subscribe to fish more. Subscribe to fish more.